AMD and Nvidia are engaged in a continual race to see which company can produce the most effective graphics cards for PC gamers. A good illustration of this rivalry is the constant between the Radeon RX 6600 and Nvidia's RTX 3060. The graphics card is probably the most crucial component among the various parts which are necessary for a computer to be used for gaming. But the question still remains, which card is better for your gaming setup? The RX 6600 or the RTX 3060? Well, that's what we're going to be sharing with you today in this video, so stay tuned to find out. At least on the surface, the price of these two cards is pretty much identical, coming in at $330. At that price point, the RTX 3060 would be the obvious choice. However, it's pretty unlikely that you would be able to purchase either GPU at this retail price and that's due to the ongoing severe chip scarcity, making the real-world price for either GPU having an increased significant price point. The price for the Radeon RX 6600 looks to be more in line with expectations. Many different custom models are hovering around the $400 to $500 price brackets whenever you can locate them on retail shelves. Plus, with an Asus model topping the charts at nearly $500, it still makes it one of those things where you have to ask, is it still worth it? But the GeForce RTX 3060 is considerably more expensive and is available at a price point above 500, while in the secondary outfit market, Nvidia's GPU typically sells for more than $800. This challenging route was forced upon us by demands at historical levels, which did come from the crypto coin miners and scalpers. The RTX 3060 does remain difficult to locate in stock regardless of the price, no matter where it's sold. But what about the availability of the AMD RX 6600? Well, surprisingly enough, stocks have remained available even days after the product's launch. Now that the launch is far behind us, you can expect to pay anywhere from $480 to $550 on a second-hand market such as eBay or Craigslist. Raw performance is comparable between the RTX 3060 and RX 6600, even though the two graphics cards have different feature sets. These feature sets include Deep Learning Super Sampling, or DLSS, Fidelity FX Super Resolution, FSR, and Ray Tracing. While GPU prices remain distorted due to supply shortages and scalping, the RX 6600 is the best option, at least if you're looking for an affordable GPU, which is capable of handling 1080p gaming, and you really don't care much about all the additional compatibilities. In the simulated benchmarks provided by 3 Mark, the RX 6600 actually outperforms the RTX 3060 in every single category, except for Time Spy and Report Royal, which measures ray tracing capabilities. This makes perfect sense given that Nvidia's ray tracing technology is significantly further along in its development than AMD's. In order to evaluate the actual gaming performance of these cards, they ingested a number of games at a resolution of 1440 pixels per inch and took measurements. Real-world gaming performance is roughly the same between the RTX 3060 and RX 6600, with the 3060 producing more frames per second than the 6600. These graphics cards are also among the best available for gaming at 1080p resolution, so you should be anticipating seeing high frame rates when using them. Neither of these cards will do exceptionally well when it comes to ray tracing, although the RTX 3060 will produce superior results. Another important distinction is that the RTX 3060 includes 12 gigabytes of video RAM, while the RX 6600 only has eight. Unless you do intend to keep this card for the most extended amount of time possible, then this won't likely impact the game. In this scenario, having more VRAM might be helpful at some point in the future. Each of these GPUs are packed with their own unique feature sets. The combination of ray tracing and DLSS is a powerful one that, from Nvidia's perspective, has the potential to enhance the visual quality of your games, significantly improve their overall performance, and do both at the same time. If you want more realistic lighting, then you should definitely go with Nvidia because of its ray tracing capabilities, which are further developed than AMD's. And even while AMD's performance isn't as good as Nvidia's, the company does still support ray tracing to an extent. On the other hand, AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution is a worthy contender to the DLSS space, even though many games don't yet support it. 
Alongside FSR is the AMD Radeon Super Resolution, or RSR. This is what is known as a spatial upscaling technique very similar to FSR, but due to the fact that it's implemented at the driver level, it's available in a much wider variety of games. Deep Learning Dynamic Super Resolution, or DLDSR, is NVIDIA's response to that. DLDSR is an improvement over earlier technology, but the bottom line is that it can make your games look better by rendering it at much higher resolutions before downscaling them to fit the native resolution of your monitor. This is only available with RTX cards, but it should function well in virtually all games because it's implemented at the driver level. AMD is beginning to close that gap with NVIDIA in terms of additional functionality, but NVIDIA is still in the lead, and this is even before considering additional aspects such as NVIDIA Studio and NVIDIA Broadcast. The thermal design power, or TDP, of the RTX 3060 is 170 watts. However, the RX 6600 has a TDP of 132 watts, hence the RTX 3060 is outclassed. The power consumption of the AMD GPU is practically non-existent, and it's efficiently remarkable. The fact that the RX 6600 XT is so incredibly efficient is one of the contributing factors that has led to its popularity among cryptocurrency miners, much to the sorrow of gamers. A performance with less power is often cooler and quieter than one with a lot more power. Regarding cryptocurrency mining, the RX 6600 doesn't have any constraints imposed on it by the manufacturer. Instead, it is simply a GPU with a lower clock speed that's efficient. The RTX 3060 is theoretically restricted in the hash rate that it can achieve. But there are workarounds to that limitation which unleash its mining capabilities. Although, something should be noted real quick, your results will vary depending on the specifics of your setup. At this point in time, the RX 6600 is significantly easier to find than the 6600 XT or RTX 3060. If you generally need ray tracing and DLSS is your life at 1080p, then you may want to hang out and wait for an RTX 3060 or perhaps a step up with the RTX 3060 Ti. And the hypothetical scenario in which you would really need these cards whenever you wanted at MSRP costs, the RTX 3060 would unquestionably be the superior choice. Even though the 6600 XT is faster than the RTX 3060, the RTX 3060, nevertheless, does command a significantly higher price point. You should have an easier time getting the RX 6600 at various outlets, even though the purchase price might be significantly more. The AMD Radeon RX 6600 is the superior product in this conflict, at least if you're looking for performance at full 1080p gaming at a price that doesn't break the bank. It typically does perform quite well, similar to the RTX 3060, and various tasks that don't involve ray tracing. The most significant catch here is regarding its pricing. We've seen various models with prices ranging anywhere from the manufacturer's suggested MSRP, which is $330, to an astounding 500 for the 6600. And that is even before the markup that you'll find in secondary outlets like eBay. Now, you wanna be as low as possible on the scale because even at 330, that's still a high price point for a 1080p GPU in 2022, regardless of whether or not there are chip shortages. Both GPUs are worth recommending for various reasons. The RX 6600 is a perfect choice for somebody who already has an AMD system. And if you do have a G-Sync monitor or do a lot of streaming, then the RTX 3060 is an easy recommendation. Of course, all of this is being set against the backdrop of a very challenging GPU economy. If somebody needs to budget GPUs and happens to come across one of these at retail, then pick it up as quickly as possible and consider yourself lucky. There's no telling when the GPU shortage will end, but at the very least, the RX 6600 and RTX 3060 are both solid options for the affordable gaming space. So there you have it. That's the mashup between the RX 6600 and RTX 3060. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed, make sure you slap a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more content updates from us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.